we are seeing the pancreatic reconstruction with pancreaticojejunostomy in robotic whipple's procedure so we use four robotic ports and camera will be in the right paramedian port we do in a modified bloom guard fashion so 20 silk suture is taken through and through in the cephalad side of uh, the pancreas transected pancreas a zero muscular bite is taken in the jejunum and then through and through back from posterior to anterior of pancreas completes the first uh, bloom gut stitch so this is held in position with the fourth arm of uh, the robo da vinci xi the second stitch is the very important stitch uh, it's called a spitzberg stitch so the anterior to posterior through and through pancreas is taken cephalad to the duct then we take a good zero muscular bite in the jejunum and then the posterior to anterior uh, is taken caudal to the duct so this ensures that a cuff of jejunum comes and sits behind the duct mucosa suture the last and final suture uh, is taken totally caudally anterior to posterior of pancreas there was a bit of bleeding in the posterior margin of pancreas again a good zero muscular bite in the jejunum and uh, back from posterior to anterior through and through of pancreas so essentially 3 20 cm 20 silk sutures we made an appropriate entrotomy so it's a slightly bigger serosal opening but the mucosal opening is appropriate to that of duct so here uh, it's a case of uh, uh, periampullary malignancy the duct size was 3 to 3.5 mm what we have inserted is a 6 french feeding tube so first stitch was taken in the posterior corner maybe can be kept as 8 o'clock position so 6 french tube is around 2 mm so we don't have a, a needle holder with an inbuilt scissors so we use uh, the vessel sealer for retraction and cutting purposes so the next bite is taken at 6 uh, o'clock or 5 o'clock position as we can see the serosal uh, incision of uh, jejunum is bigger than the mucosal incision but we ensure that a duct to mucosa suture is being taken so two sutures are taken one at 8 o'clock and one at 5 o'clock position now by retracting these two sutures we take another suture in between maybe at 7 or 6 o'clock position so the maneuverability of uh, the needle holder and the enlarged vision 10 times enlarged vision enables us to do a very good duct to mucosa suturing the final uh, posterior layer suture is taken at 4 to 5 o'clock position so essentially the posterior layer sutures are taken in out of pancreatic duct and out in of the jejunum and this is also tied on itself usually we uh, do it with 50 pds since it's pds we throw some 56 throws but for educative purpose we just show through two throws then we start anterior layer of suturing so we took at uh, 10 o'clock 9 or 10 o'clock position that is tied again care is taken not to include the feeding tube in the suches as we can see we are squaring the knot by taking the hand to other side that ensures the knot sits snug and doesn't get loose and once both the corner suches are taken we insert the feeding tube into the jejunum and ensure that it easily passes into the jejunum so then we take 11 o'clock suture out in of uh, jejunum and in out of pancreas so we can see that only a small 2 mm opening is remaining so we decided to take a interrupted i mean sutures with stay so this is probably 11 to 12 o'clock position suture out in of uh, jejunum and in out of pancreas we didn't tie it because we wanted to take the sutures under vision the next suture is taken at uh, 1 to 2 o'clock position so basically when we take it uh, in out of uh, pancreatic duct we are pretty sure that we are taking the duct 
then we took at 3 to 4 o'clock maybe at 3 o'clock position out in of uh, jejunum you can use the maryland as an eagle holder also so just inserted it and then maneuvered it with needle holder so we found that uh, there is a big gap between uh, uh, 11 o'clock or 1 o'clock position suture so we took an additional bite small bleeding uh, stops once we tie the knot and the final 3 to 4 o'clock suture is being taken again out in of uh, the jejunum and in out of the pancreas now all sutures are tied now essentially as we can see we have kept so many sutures as stay this would have caused a great confusion in uh, laparoscopic surgery and it would have been very difficult to manage all these sutures since it's a robotic surgery the vision what we see here is four times but in the console you'll be seeing 10 times enlarged vision and uh, just 10 to 12 centimeters of uh, suture length is enough to put a very good uh, throws so and we can see the wrist movement of uh, the needle holder enables us to take bites very much appropriately and uh, we completely avoid any confusion so once this is finished up to mucosa sutures the already taken bloom guard stitches tied on the pancreas the kefalage suture is snugly tied so that the cuff of jejunum goes into its posterior to pancreas the suture bloom guard suture around the duct is also tied but care is taken not to make it very tight so that it doesn't occlude the duct and again caudal suture similar to kefalage suture is also made tight so that a snug cuff of pancreas uh, snug cuff of jejunum sits behind the pancreas now once this is done from kefalage to caudal we take another zero muscular bite of the jejunum so that the anterior cuff of jejunum comes and sits on the pancreas so that the cut surface of pancreas is covered by the zero muscle of the jejunum again the bloom guard stitch around the duct is taken a cuff of jejunum comes and sits anterior to it similarly the caudal most uh, suture also anterior cuff is taken so enlarged vision easy maneuverability and small suture length enables us to take almost 10 to 11 bites in a small 3.5 mm pancreatic duct we use uh, vessel sealer for cutting in the way we reduce the number of usage of instruments also so that's the completed pj thank you